Hi everybody, uh, today, today I'm going to show you how to make what I call super buckshot. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for home defense unless you're out in the middle of nowhere, like in the country or something. However, in an SHCF situation, this would be uh, really good as a combat load, in my opinion. Um, it's going to be way better than regular lead buckshot, uh, but this is, this is uh, what I use. I use, uh, by the regular, uh, seven and a half uh, shot shells from Walmart. You can get a case of them for like, uh, for like around twenty-five dollars. So what I do is I I take one of the shells. I'll open it up with like a, a screwdriver, something slender but does have a little bit of, of a flat edge. I'll open it up. I'll dump the BBs in there. And then what I'll take is I'll take some of these uh, Daisy one fourth inch diameter slingshot uh, ball bearings. I'll put some of them in there, and then I'll take one of the uh, three eighth inch slingshot ball bearings, and I'll put one in there. And it, it, this is just my personal way of doing it. I'll put more of this in there. And I'll kind of pack it down. And to give it a little bit of a nasty effect, so like if you don't kill a person, you know, Putting some of these lead BBs back in there not only gives it a little bit of filler, but if they get hit with that, and if they don't die, they'll get a little bit of lead poisoning, uh, or lead poisoning, uh, quite possibly. So I actually just use some of the original filler. And we'll pack it down. It takes some practice to do, but I have seen the pattern it makes, and that works pretty darn well. So I'll pack it down, and then I'll use a screwdriver and re-push it back down. Now it won't look, it won't necessarily look pretty. Uh, sometimes it will bulge out a little bit, but that's fine. You know, it's still going to give you your normal capacity for your shotgun. Depending how how much you load it would have been how much it sticks out. So you can hear that it has a little bit of space in there, more than a regular uh, sh uh, shell would. But that's okay. And then what I do then is I'll label it so I know the difference. I put SBS for Super Buckshot. And I do know that regular Buckshot rounds through my semi-automatic shotgun don't cycle as well as these regular rounds, and mine is shimmered for three inch. So, using this ought to be very effective in a SHCF situation. Uh, steel ball bearings, it's going to pull a lot more damage uh, by, well, I wouldn't say a lot more damage, but uh, it definitely has a lot more penetrating power than regular lead uh, buckshot will do. Um, you know, if they have armor, I would prefer this because it's going to pack more of a punch. You can use it with different types of shells, but this is really affordable to, to use because you can get a whole case of it. And it does take a while to load them all, but, you know, to me, it's worth it. So, I thought that's what I would show you. Those are them together. They're not a whole lot different, but it is what it is, and that's what I plan to use when the SHCF. So, thank you for watching, and have a safe night.